Oriental medicine, how much do you know? For centuries, Korea has been known for growing famous medicinal herbs. Dating back to the Joseon dynasty, our Korean ancestors used medicinal herbs when they got sick or injured. From that era, Koreans have created a tradition of using medicinal herbs, now prominent in Oriental medicine. The three states uniquely created what we classify as Oriental medicine. Composed of China, Japan, and Korea, the three states researched and practiced the forms of medicine autonomously. During the period of the unified Chilla, the first medical institution was established. The period of Koryo brought Korea international recognition as having their own independent form of Oriental medicine. The period of Joseon brought about the first encyclopedia of Oriental medicine. Authored by Ho Jun, the Dongi Bogam further cemented Korea as having an independent national medicine. The beginning of four-kind constitutional medicine, which applies a different remedy according to the patient's general state of health, the erected oriental medicine is a race endemic medicine. For these reasons, it can be concluded that oriental medicine is a domestic science, intertwined with the history of Korea and reflecting our nation's wisdom. Oriental medicine reflects our ancestors' wisdom and experience. With the prevalence of Western medicine in modern society, the question, what's the difference between Oriental medicine and Western medicine, often arises. The most substantial difference exists in how a patient's diagnosis is viewed. In Western medicine, doctors have found the cause of disease in external factors, germs and viruses, and they have concentrated on eliminating these factors. This approach often results in the prescription of one fixed remedy for all individuals with similar ailments. Doctors practicing Oriental medicine believe that the cause of a disease is linked to a person's unique energy. A patient with weakened energy levels has less resistance to disease because their body itself is weak. For this reason, Oriental medicine focuses on prescribing a diverse remedy that is tailored to the patient's general state of health. The Western approach to medicine is flawed because a drug that heals one patient of a disease can cause detrimental side effects to another patient. Constitutional medicine suggests that the patient knows their own constitution and can gain an advantage to complement or prevent their deficiency. For example, by eating foods that supplement deficient organ energy in one's unique constitution, a patient could maintain their health effectively. In addition, if a patient knows the symptoms they have to care for, they can be empowered to notice their own physical condition and apprehend diseases in their early stages. Oriental medicine is a customized medicine. How does Oriental medicine heal the human body? Oriental medicine options do not include surgery. Instead, they stimulate the body to correct any imbalances that exist, focusing on principles to recuperate human body harmony. To achieve this balance and harmony, Oriental medicine uses remedies like Oriental herbs, acupuncture, and moxibustion, just to name a few. Oriental herbal medicine is a dispensed mixture composed of grass roots, fruit, barks of trees, and similar ingredients. The mixture is made specific for each individual following the principles of constitutional medicine. This can improve immunity and act as a continuous disease remedy. Acupuncture is a method to treat diseases by stimulating a particular part of the body with thin needles to control uremia. Acupuncture has quick and outstanding remedial value and can be applied to most illnesses. As a simple medicine, acupuncture is effective even in an emergency. Moxibustion is a treatment that seeks to heal disease by burning or creating steam from the burning of an oriental herb on or near a particular body part. Moxibustion removes bad energy from the body, aiding us in preventing diseases and improving blood circulation. Moxibustion is often combined with acupuncture to treat both chronic and acute conditions. Other traditional oriental treatments include pharmacopuncture, acupuncture, and moxibustion, and cupping. Laser acupuncture, electronic acupuncture, aromatherapy, and sports oriental medicine have been increasingly used as a modern oriental medicine remedy. Oriental medicine follows natural flow. With a 5,000 year history, traditional Korean oriental medicine is increasingly receiving attention from the international medical community as a high-quality autotherapy medical practice combining prevention with remedy. At this very moment, Oriental medicine advocates are tirelessly conducting research in the hopes that one day, Oriental medicine will take the lead in international medical treatments. 
Oriental medicine is our history, future, and hope.